Well, uh, it is currently five past two on the 29th of May. Later today, I go off on my big trip, go to my club wars for what, for half a night, <laughs> and go to Linear afterwards, but I'm trying to get this video all finished off editing, or most of it, because it still needs to be filmed this year. Yeah, cool. That is your only sneak peek you're getting until the 30th of December when it comes out. Stay tuned boys and girls. Right, let's go to my club water and let's go to Linear and let's go catch an absolute whacker. So in that little spell, I ended up losing a few off the top, just practicing ready to go to linear. I also had a few as well, but yeah. So that was it for my club water, and let's head off to linear and go catch an Oxfordshire whacker. Right, let's take a minute to just look. The M25 isn't a car park. Wow! Then we arrived in one piece, but then greeted by a seven hour wait in the van just to get on St. John's. Ouch! And that was a very, very long and painful wait. It's really hot. <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, yeah. Last night I was in the double swim just up the bank. Uh, 24. 24, 25. And, um, moved up into 28 now. Uh, where the fish are. It's not a matter of, it's not a matter of if. It's more like a matter of when they're going to spawn this week some point they basically are showing signs of it but it's probably going to be tomorrow morning and then I'll probably go to the manor and catch a whacker out of there but yeah oh one just showed two just showed lovely jablet so fingers crossed I'll catch one then if they're going to spawn catch one before they spawn and yeah let's go catch a fish Good. 
so many here on this point when I'm this video a few swims up for where I can reach and apart from all those bubbles. I lost one. Felt felt good. Just took four bleeps and it just sat there and it just plodded. Hook pulled. Sad times, but Dad just felt hooked a catfish. weren't very big though. But yeah, fingers crossed I can catch one. No catfish, hopefully. I do want one cat. Never had a cat before, but. Carp? Question mark? Fingers crossed, they're here, so. Yeah, because, because my bikes have only been or well, the two bites I've had, I've lost two, I can tell you that one. But yeah, the two bites I'm getting have been two bleeps I've been on. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the leg comes off. Or still, they're still not 100% coming off, but to make sure I've got the best chance of it coming off because it's so weedy up there. I've got a bit of PVA tape and wrapping it around the leg clips. So have the lead or the sleeve as loose as I want to make sure it doesn't come out and then the lead should come off in time. And that was it for St. John's. They started to spawn sadly, so I reeled in and tried to find somewhere else to fish. I don't know how many laps of Hardwick and Smith's and Manor I did, but I finally found a swim, and this fishing on Manor was now going to happen. Bad news. Whenever you plan a trip in the spring, you always got to take the risk of them spawning, and that's what they're doing now. Well, I like, I, like, I like seeing them spawn. There's some absolute giants. But yeah, but I think it's absolutely rammed on manor, so it means catch up on a lot of sleep tonight and try find a swim in the morning and keep the rods in. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Bye! <laughs> After a few days of trying to find a swim on Manor, 
finally I found a swim instead of waiting an extra day. Also gonna go on a life boy swim on Thursday afternoon. But some but he's get but he said I can have it and then he gave the swim to someone else sadly, but it's all part of fishing linear. Bit annoyed but I'm in the corner. Uh, I think it's peg one, I don't know the numbers but I'm in the corner where next to Willow, next to the Willow swim, so I think there's, there's been a few fish out of there, about four o'clock has been the right time, so fingers crossed I can turn the bad luck around to good luck and actually catch something. So yeah. Yeah, spike also come out as well, so I don't know what that means for Kempies, I hope that comes out on my foot. If I have it it'll be over the moon, but yeah. Very hot, very hot indeed. Caught the sun a bit, yeah, funny, but yeah, hopefully I can, I've got four nights left, so after the struggles in St John's and St John's letting me down after losing two, hopefully Manor will produce me a carp. Just got to hope. Now, I'm coming into the fifth night, and I've only caught those fish off the top at the start, they don't count, just playing around, just, yeah, and I jokingly said then, I'm catching these, because then I'm not blank this session, but, I've got three days left, three nights left, and it's looking more and more of a possibility I'm not going to catch. Ah, hey ho, but I've seen fish everywhere else is spawning. St John's, Brazenose 1, Hardwick in the Smith's bit, Oxley's already done it, and Brazenose 2 will probably do it tomorrow, but I've got everything crossed that don't spawn. Everything crossed, but they don't look like they're going to do it yet. Hope they don't do it. But yeah, it's actually looking like we might blank, which is a seven night tier. It's a bit sad, really. But yeah, bit of a wimp as well. Can't say I I, I'm so socially awkward. I can't say hi to Ian Russell and have a photo with him. <laughs> oh dear, everything's so. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway. Tonight's night, I keep telling myself tonight's night. I've seen big ones over this area, over in this bay and peg, 15 and 16. So I've seen fish here. Big ones, pasties, tench. Could, ha could happen, it might not. If it doesn't happen, I might have to rethink and find another spot. But I'm begging this spot where I've got Kempies on in the game will pull through and this hole will pull through as well. So. Fingers crossed and catch one tonight. Then, during having pizza, my right hand rod pulled tight in the hole of the tree, and finally I was into one of these manor farm carp. Hello, nice little fish. Uh, 15 pound 14. Went off just after finish having pizza. Nice little, off the uh, little hole in the tree spot, in the far margin. That saves a blank as well. Yay! What's popping, everybody? What's gone on today? Uh, we're slowly getting to, well, my mates have caught a few. Lisey's happy now. Um... 
had a tench off my absolutely obliterated bait spot that I put on about 3 kilo maybe and I've just seen carp show about 15 yards behind the second willow so I've done what a sensible angler should do go around to the next swim across because it's not really my water and just ask if I was able to and Ian Russell and and um, I'm very sorry um, the other person in the willow said I can go there at a risk that I might get wiped out so I've just put a quick little bag on and hopefully I can nick a quick bite and hopefully it's a whacker a mana farm whacker so fingers crossed whoop whoop I finally got a photo with the man Ian Russell yay oh, why do you have to be so socially awkward what a nice guy what a lovely guy Hi Ian, if you're there. That's the first one of the first two. That's the second one. Just, just beside, maybe a little bit further in. been a bit finicky this week been hard haven't really got on them if I got on them it might have been a different story but one more night at it and they'll I reckon they'll spawn in the morning so fingers crossed I can winkle one out just before they spawn because they're gonna be hungry ready for it so one more night at it come on come on you linear fishery mana farm based Kempi's Lynn would be nice. <laughs> yeah, in my dreams. The next generation of linear giants. There is. Oh, this one. There are loads on the entrance to the bay. Ah, fingers crossed, though. Oh, it's me again. Um, yeah, to be honest, I haven't seen many fish down this bay. The only one or two come cruising in, but it looks like they do use these trees. Until today, or just now, there's loads. There's loads of fish coming in this corner. And I've always had an absolute savage line on the left hand, the one I've literally, literally just put tennis bombs on, so. Got all fingers crossed, hopefully I'll catch one or dad. Fingers crossed. Stop it, you more hen or coat, wherever you are.
Final morning. Woke up or oh, woke up at four o'clock and nothing looked dead as anything. And it's about seven o'clock now and I had two bleeps on the rod that I kept seeing the fish bubbling over. Yesterday I've gone, oh maybe, maybe. Picked up to it because it was a slow bite, I thought, oh maybe big carp, yeah, you know. Picked up one tench. And not really. Yeah, I think the chance is over. I think I'm going home with one, but at least I'm going home. At least it's, it's better than nothing, isn't it? But what a struggle! Rain clouds over there. Hi, friend. Hi, my baby. I want to go watch them spawn because there's nothing else better to do, and that's quite interesting. Yay. Oh, there he is. Oh, that'd be nice and cold again. Nice. And that was the end of that. They started spawning on Mana Farm. I ended up having the, own, the one carp and who knows how many tench. I lost count. The group ended up having nine between us and yeah. A hard week overall. We loaded the van and started heading home, getting Greg's on the way past. Beaconsfield? I think it was Beaconsfield, yeah. So, please go watch the other videos of the spawning. Um, this is all you're going to get in this video. And, um, hi Ian Russell, it was nice meeting you. And yeah, I'll see you all, you guys, in the next video. And fingers crossed, Spock will be caught very, very soon. I am hoping to go to Linear again in the autumn, so hopefully when I go again I can catch a few fish. If I don't go in the autumn, I'll probably go again this time next year, but only for four nights and I'll be doing three nights somewhere else next year, if everything goes to plan.